making people feel comfortable with you. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. Your success in real estate and in business and in life is gonna come down to just one thing, making people feel comfortable with you. Making people feel comfortable with you, with who you are. Now, I could have said all kinds of things right there, and you probably thought I was gonna say several different things, the cliche things, right? It comes down to, I could have said, working hard, being a hard worker. I could have said, your success will come down to being professional. I could have said, it, it comes down to being honest. But let's, let's be real. If you're in this room right now, and you want to be, you're here because you want to be a top producer. How many people here want to be a top producer? Okay then, everybody. If you are in this room and you want to be a top producer, I shouldn't have to tell you that you gotta work hard. I shouldn't have to tell you that you need to be honest or professional. That should be automatic. What I wanna do is share something with you that maybe you haven't thought of. Why? Because I wanna help you. I wanna bring value to you. And I wanna open up your mind to maybe a different skill that people don't necessarily talk about all the time that could really help you. And that is making people feel comfortable with you. If your client or your prospect feels comfortable with you, there's a good chance you're gonna do business. On the other hand, if they do not feel comfortable with you, there's a good chance that you're not gonna do business. So how do we make people feel comfortable with us? The most simple way that I can explain it, to make someone feel comfortable with you, all you have to do is be comfortable with them. If you're comfortable with them, they will feel that, and they will in turn be comfortable with you. If you're nervous, if you're scared, if you're trembling, if you're not relaxed, if you're tight, they feel that energy, they feel that nervousness, and if you're nervous, now they're gonna be nervous, and they're gonna say, I don't know if I wanna do business with this agent. Something's, they're scared, something's going on here. However, if you are calm, cool, collected, tone of your voice, speed of your voice, body language, if everything is lining up that you are comfortable with them, that's the first step to making this person your new client. So at my workshop Wednesday, we did an exercise. I wanna explain the exercise to you right here so that you can start to try to apply this in your day to day, to be comfortable with strangers, because not everybody has that. And so what I eventually came up with, and, and I kind of created a term, it's, it's called FE, and it stands for friend or family effect. And the idea is that we want them to feel like they're a friend or family. We want our clients to feel like they are our friends and family. Okay, so how do we translate this? Next time that you're talking to your mom, your dad, your brother, your best friend, somebody that you feel really, really comfortable with, I want you to just pay attention to that conversation. I want you to really think when you're talking to this person that you feel so comfortable with. You can tell them anything, they can tell you anything. They're comfortable with you, you're comfortable with them, everything's great. That's what you need to emulate with your clients. That's how your clients need to feel. 
So what I want you to do is, next time you're having that conversation with someone, I want you to take a mental snapshot. I want you to, I want you to take that moment in time and just think about the tone of your voice, the speed of your voice, your, your body language, are you tight, are you loose? I want you to pay attention to every little piece of the communication between you and this person. I want you to start trying to emulate that when you talk to your clients, and it won't happen overnight. It will not happen the first time, maybe not the second time, maybe not for a week, two weeks, a month, but maybe in a week, two, three, four, um, uh, uh, a couple months later, Maybe you start to feel a little more comfortable with people and you see their reaction of how they're comfortable with you because of it and then you start doing it more and you do it with more clients and more clients and more clients and before you know it you have a huge army of clients who all see you as friend or family.